Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the next promo that is coming soon, supposedly, inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. That is Team of the Group Stage. Black Friday is past. Team of the Group Stage is supposedly coming soon. So I want to talk about that promo. We could see a loading screen as early as today. We're going to look back at last year. And if EA repeat themselves, we will actually see a loading screen today because they dropped one last year on the Wednesday right after the Black Friday promo ended. So I think that's a possibility for today, which is why we're talking about it in this video. Uh, talk about the loading screen again. Last year's team, I want to look at those cards, just what team of the group stage is and how ones to watches might not actually upgrade for the team of the group stage cards this year. Now, speaking of ones to watches, today on Wednesday in the game as well is a big day. Team of the week 11, the hero packs are out if you have not seen those and more ones to watch upgrades are going to be pushed out today for those wins to watch cards. Messi, Upamecano, Sabitzer, Dumfries. There's a long list of cards that are going to get upgraded today. And, and again, I mentioned the hero packs. If you pre-order the ultimate edition of FIFA, like before August, it was a really long time ago. Uh, these are now out, right? They were released at midnight UK time on Wednesday in the AM. So I know these aren't as exciting as we thought they were going to be since we've had multiple hero upgrades. I'm saving mine for the stream later today, uh, but that is uh, something that is now out in the game and we'll take a look because it has impacted the market a little bit. But let's talk about team of the group stage because we have card designs, right? We have card designs and I think we even clicked through them quickly yesterday uh, in yesterday's upload. But these are supposedly the card designs that have been added to the code for Team of the Group Stage. Now, what is Team of the Group Stage, right? Team of the Group Stage is basically cards and uh, of players that have performed well in the group stages of the European competition, the respective European competitions. Now, of course, last year we just had the Champions League and the Europa League cards. This year we will have the Conference League, of course, included as well um and the reason again why i'm talking about this and you know it seems like it's it's being leaked very often a lot of people are talking about this leak of team of the group stage again with the cards added to the database a lot of people are saying that it is confirmed for friday and a loading screen today would really confirm that and that's why i'm talking about this again in this video last year the wednesday after black friday they released a loading screen with the team of the group stage car design which in my opinion that car design looks definitely better than this one. I like the whole like sphere over the stadium. That just, that just looks pretty sick. I don't know. I feel like these designs year over year, they barely change. And I think I like last year's better if I'm being completely honest. But that's besides the point. Look for a loading screen today. There could be potential for that. So again, basically team of the group stage as we look at teams uh, last year's team, they just put out a promo of boosted cards. Uh, of players that have performed well so far in their competition. So some names that are being thrown around, Mohamed Salah, Cristiano Ronaldo. I think Kempembe's name has been thrown around a little bit. Uh, Adeyemi, right? There's a ton of names that could be involved in this promo. Last year, this was the team, and EA went all out with this squad last year. Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Holland, Messi, De Bruyne, Diego Carlos, a ton of really meta cards came out of this promo. And this promo last year actually dropped the market a little bit because of uh, how packable these players were, how cheap they were. And people had just, you know, gotten out of Black Friday. They had a lot of coins. So a lot of people like with that extra supply too, with all the packs that were open last year. And of course, this year on Black Friday as well, uh, you actually saw the market drop a bit because people sold the cards that they had bought for their teams and they inserted some of these new players from this promo. We'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Uh, and if you need to really prepare for that, once this promo is maybe confirmed with a loading screen today on Wednesday, or maybe not, maybe it'll be a Thursday or whenever this could be. But that's kind of what team of the group stage is. This is a promo that a lot of people look forward to because it's Champions League related, related content. Uh, these are not live cards. That's the biggest thing to remember. These are not live cards. And that leads me to one very interesting point. We're going to touch on this very briefly today and probably talk about it a little bit more later on. Uh, somebody by the name of Cristiano Ronaldo is expected to be in team of the group stage because of his performances so far, right? Ronaldo has a once to watch item. Now in previous years, 
ones to watches were upgraded by team of the group stage or team of the knockout stage items. This is back into the FIFA 21 ones to watch um, FAQ. And here it says that OTW items upgrade when players receive performance-based informs such as team of the week, man of the match, European team of the tournament, or hero items, right? That European team of the tournament would be a team of the group stage item. That's the same thing, right? Team of the tournament, team of the group stage, same thing. Now this year under the FIFA 22 frequently asked questions, it says that once to watch player items will upgrade when a player receives a qualifying performance-based inform. And then in parentheses, it only says team of the week and man of the match. So in total, it looks like, you know, some of these people are going to be thinking about Ronaldo's going to upgrade. If Ronaldo gets a 92 rated team of the group stage card, he's not going to upgrade. That is in fact correct. So be very careful if you start to see some ones to watch as a players. I don't know who else could be in this team. Uh, maybe some people think Hakimi might be in team of the group stage. I don't know. Uh, but Ronaldo's card is, is actually up. He's actually kind of risen up recently. He was higher yesterday. He's 2.11 right now. He was 2 mil on the weekend, rose up to 2.17. Uh, and, and now he's kind of back down just a little bit. But I do not expect this card, unless EA forget their own rules that they have made for this year, um, I don't expect this car to get upgraded if he does get into team of the group stage. So that is just my opinion. Watch out for a loading screen today. Uh, if they do show the car design on the loading screen, again, the reason why I'm making this video in total is because last year on Wednesday, right after black Friday, they didn't skip a beat. They ended black Friday kind of like they did yesterday and they went straight into team of the group stage. So that is why I am, I guess, theorizing that that could be the same way this year. So watch out for a loading screen today. We will have to see if that does get dropped in this game or not. And then we'll talk about more potentials, more market and impact and stuff like that after we see an official loading screen and stuff like that. So speaking of what's going on inside of this game, though, there is plenty going to happen today on Wednesday inside of FIFA. Now, first thing is first, Wednesday means team of the weekday. I want to take a look at a quick team of the week prediction. There's a couple big names in here, a couple of ones to watch cards that might be upgraded as well. Antoine Griezmann is one of those names, and so is Anderson Taliska. He's probably not going to get his wins to watch upgrade uh, for the Anderson Taliska, but another plus two might be coming to this guy um, because he might have an inform. So that's very interesting. And if you look at this team of the week, there's a, actually a decent amount of players in here that could be pretty good. Diogo Jota could be in the team of the week. Uh, a Mertens inform is looking very likely. James Madison, Marquinhos, second inform is looking likely as well. A Diaby card would be a nice cheap super sub similar to his rule breakers item. Bibu, uh, Gundawan is another name has been thrown around and a couple team league predictions that I've seen as well. Uh, so it looks like it could be a decent value team of the week, right? Jota would be a nice card, not very expensive. Marquinhos would probably be somewhere around like the 350, 400,000 coin range, maybe 500K in my opinion, depending on how big of a boost they give him. It's only a plus one, of course, for an inform. So that would be interesting. And then another Tavernier. Tavernier, this, this card looks disgusting. This card looks absolutely disgusting. Of course, Tavernier has already gotten the featured team of the week boost for his 84 rated inform. His 84 would go up to an 86 if he would get another team of the week card today. And that would get a lot of people very excited uh, for a Tavernier right back. That would be, you know, like the old days of Tavernier being OP. What was that? FIFA 20 Tavernier? Or maybe that was even last year in FIFA 21. I don't even know. I'm going to look this up as we zoom back out because I zoomed in to look at that team of the week prediction. I want to look at Tavernier because that card literally could be insane generations was it last year it was man i was thinking fifa 20 it's actually fifa 21 the tavernier footies card the headliners tavernier yeah that was last year man i can't keep my years straight but that card was nasty and everybody used it so i'm very curious to see uh if this card is in team of the week today what his stats are because you give this guy another plus two and that card would look insane so just watch out for Team of the Week um, 11 today. That is going to be, of course, dropping live in the game. And also along with Team of the Week 11 and the ones to watch upgrades like Griezmann and uh, Kaliska, if they actually get actual informs, we have our wins to watch upgrades coming once again. There's a lot of names that are getting upgraded this time, but most notably Hakimi and Mr. Lionel Messi, of course, all the PSG cards, they got their fourth, uh, their fifth win. So Messi's going to go to a 95. Hakimi's going to go to an 86. 
Uh, Ramos is going to get a plus one, and Wijnaldum's going to get upgraded as well. If you did the Wijnaldum uh, OTW SBC that was out early on in the year, that is going to be a card that gets upgraded today as well. You know, I've got a couple of these like Ubamakano, Sabitzer, Grealish. A bunch of these cards are getting upgraded today. So since uh, the content has been kind of quiet the past two days, uh, you, you've seen a couple of these cards rise up a bit. How much is Jack Grealish? He was like 19K yesterday. He's now up to about 22,000 coins. I don't really expect a lot of these cards to stay, um, it, like to really go up much after they get the upgrade. Yeah, Upa's 241. It's kind of where he's been. I would honestly expect Upa Makano's getting a plus two. That that might be one today that gets kids very, very hyped. This is going to an 86. That card's going to look really, really good after the wins to watch upgrade today. So keep an eye on him. We might have a bit of a Tamori situation. But I feel like for the most part, a lot of these cards, even like a Dumfries as well, right? Dumfries upgrade might look really good. A lot of these cards, in my opinion, would get sold off uh, after the upgrade. Dumfries is going to go to an 84. It's going to have a lot more pace, going to go over 90 physical and get into the 80 defending uh, standpoint. So that's not a bad looking card. But I would just sell into the hype and take the safe cash because after the wins to watch upgrade, um, I, it was hype for Tamori the first time, but I think, you know, except for Upa Makano and maybe one or two other cards that get upgrades today, uh, I feel like a lot of the hype is kind of not passed for those cards, but how many of those are really going to get into people's teams uh, right now? Only a few of them, like that Upa Makano, in my opinion, would, would really move a lot on the market. So just keep an eye out for that. Of course, those guys getting upgraded today. I've got a few of those I'm going to sell uh, into the hype. Also, it's a Wednesday, right? What do we normally see on Wednesdays? We usually see a little bit of a market drop. But everything right now on this market is just so high in price, including some of these signature signings players. Yes, I said it correctly. Guys who watch the streams, I keep saying summer signings. It's not. It's signature signings, and I said it correctly. We move. Anyways, these cards without any big content yesterday, the only content that we got was the Foot Champs upgrade, which, by the way, I got to say a quick word on this before we talk market for a second. I got to say a quick word. Uh, if you have not, I mean, some of you guys might have already done this. The only cards that I would turn into these Foot Champs upgrades, especially the 86 plus, it has an 81 overall uh, team overall rating. I would not turn anything in above over 83 for these SBCs, because if you think about it, upcoming in foot freeze, team of the group stage, but it's specifically like foot miss, foot freeze time frame, they start including the foot champions players as like foot champions players slash informs in some of the requirements for the SBCs. And this is like very, very EA like, right? They want you right now to go submit all of your red foot champs cards to, you know, potentially get one of these 86 plus foot champs items, which is cool and it's fun, right? But especially, for the 84 or 85 rated cards that would be most useful in an SBC down the line, that's like 13, 14, 15,000 coins that you're submitting instead of you know putting into a future like foot miss or foot freeze SBC. So if you wanna think that far ahead and you wanna be, I guess, that efficient with your club, that would be one thing that I'd be very careful of is submitting that stuff and getting it out of your club if it's above 83 rated. You know, if it's the 81s, whatever, right? 81s are discard. You probably can get a discard inform from opening like a couple two-player packs, or most of us probably have a discard inform or two in the club, right? So honestly, if it's 83 or below, full send those if you want to, but if it's not, I would just say wait. I really would because in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have more informs that will come out as well, more players that will be added to the player pool, and those foot champs upgrades from what we opened yesterday on stream, they're actually terrible. Like we only got one card or two cards that were over like 88 rated. And that was like Tony Cruz. The best pull that we had was Gabriel Jesus and Info Inform Barella from early on team of the weeks. Now I know some people got Neymar and stuff, but that was definitely not what most people uh, were getting. So these cards though, again, yesterday with no content, I actually picked up a couple Ruben Diaz pre-content yesterday at like 280 right around there and sold them all at 320 to 325. That was a W. Also the Rodrigo's that I bought, um, I was able to offload those at 330. A couple of them I offloaded at break even before content. And then this guy has actually gone up I think he's about 320 right now, but he was 330 at a point yesterday. This one just made the most sense. I was glad that I made that move, and I was glad that I bought a couple at 300 and sold at 330. So that was a nice uh, small flip. Uh, and a lot of stuff, again, is just up, right? I, I just don't know. As we take a look at even some gold cards on this game, like Ferland Mendy, right? Everybody's using this card right now because of the La Liga links with the Benzema SBC. That's got everybody hyped right now. 
I just don't know if there's going to be a ton of sell off today. I mean, unless a loading screen comes, which it could it very well could be a loading screen today. I just don't feel like a lot of people don't want to sell their teams. A lot of people are like, man, Black Friday has happened. I've been panicking for the last two weeks about buying a team. When's the best time to buy? I just want to have my team and relax for a little bit, right? So I don't know if there's going to be like a normal Wednesday sell off. I think it depends on if there is a loading screen and if EA surprises us with any other sort of content on today's game. Uh, but the market is definitely very high at the moment as a lot of these out of packs cards a lot of these gold cards have just gone up in price because there's no more supply and there's still a lot of demand because we have a lot of coins on this game at the moment so that creates kind of a two-fold scenario it, it does create a very nice market to trade in as you see a lot of people have coins and they're trying cards out but it also makes it very interesting when you're trading because you're like man is this card up is this card down now right now cordoba with this hero pack that has come out some of these hero cards have actually bounced up in price a little bit like cordoba was actually just 520 uh as you saw people maybe opening their hero packs they didn't get a cordoba or they didn't get in a, in a betty pele and these cards are actually up a little bit. I bet he was 650 earlier today, and right now he's about 680. So up a little bit, but honestly, not that much. Di Natale as well is up, you know, like 20,000 coins. Like I'm pretty sure he was 560, now he's 580. So the hero pack doesn't really have looked to impact the market that much, but it was also released pretty late. So we'll see into this morning as this video is released um, how that could impact the market a bit more. I wouldn't expect anything crazy. I wouldn't expect these guys' prices to drop a lot at all. Um, you know, maybe some of your more lower tier ones have a, have a few dips in price. Maybe like Utenberg, Most of Voice, stuff like that. If, if people had them tradable, but I feel like most people don't just aren't just buying those players because they're yes, they're new, but they've been out in the game already for like you know two months, and people have tried them because they're so cheap. So. I don't feel like there's a ton of hype around these cards unless you just packed one of these big boys uh, from your hero upgrade. So I'm excited to open mine. I just don't want a duplicate, right? Please, no duplicate of Betty Pelé. Ginola would be fantastic. Of course, that would slot right into the squad as it should everybody's team. Um, but of course, that is the game that everybody's playing today. What will you get in your hero upgrade? So we'll kind of keep a watch for that. And again, Will we see that market drop today? I just don't feel like it's going to be that drastic of one. It's going to be continually a good day to trade, right? Just pick a, a couple of these special cards that are that you see moving around in price a lot. Like Phil Foden is one that I actually haven't traded with yet, but this guy's price moves a lot. Last night, he was like 320K, 325K on like some undercut snipes. Right now, he's 345, 343. This guy was 355, almost 360 at one point yesterday. So... You know, if I could snag one of these Phil Foden's at like a 320 tonight, I know that I'm probably going to be able to get, uh, you know, later into today on Wednesday, probably be able to get somewhere around like 350 or 360. Uh, one example is I bought a Rudiger at 346, I think is what I bought him at. And I believe right now he's about, to, he's almost 370, right? So these out of pack special cards that have just continually crept up in price and icons as well. Icons have been great on fluctuations right now. Again, just because people have coins and they're out and they're using cards. That's a little update on the team. At the moment, I did buy a couple things. Actually, I just bought some position change in chem styles. It's a very attacking team at the moment. Um, I'm still waiting to get the defense sorted. Verone is decent, but I miss my boy Fellaini in there. I got to play a couple more games to get my division rivals reward set. But what I was really trying to show you is my transfer targets and this Desai, this Desai bounces between like 830 and 890 all the time. So if you snag like an 820 undercut, like I didn't on this card, you can usually sell it around 880. That's like, you know, around 20K profit per card. But if you're looking for a place to trade, the icons and the out of pack specials are great. Just again, it's all about looking at the graphs and finding the cards that people want to buy, buying them on the low, Sell them on, selling them on the high of a fluctuation. Uh, and I do feel like the after Rivals Rewards tomorrow, you'll probably see a decent kick up in the market still as people get some coins from playing with these new teams that they all bought. Uh, and they might try to go out and upgrade uh, a few of those players uh, in their squad with some newfound coins after Rivals. So uh, that's going to be very interesting. I also feel like that since, like myself included, since we just came out of a big promo with a ton of things in packs, uh, especially if there is a loading screen today, one of the things I would watch out for uh, would be um, people saving packs. I think people saving packs is going to create a lot of supply. If there actually is a promo on Friday, I think that's what some something is 
a lot of people are going to be saving packs throughout the rest of this week. Since we just came from a promo with a ton of things were in packs, like I just got this 100k pack from Objectives, and I'm, I'm not opening this until there's something in packs. Like right now, all we have is the team of the week. I'm going to be waiting. So just keep an eye out for that if you're uh, included in that. I think it's a smart move to do so. But I just feel like there's not going to be a ton of packs open since people, uh, it feels like the game is quieted down a bit right now since there's nothing crazy in packs like there was. So it's going to be a very interesting Wednesday on this game. New team of the week, potential loading screen, the hero packs being opened up. And of course, some people are still in here grinding 75 plus player picks, crafting SBCs. That's why you've seen some of the fodder, uh, so to speak, uh, the of the signature signings players go up like Jimenez Edwards 50k for these cards wow they have actually flown these cards have actually flown because people are still doing with the fodder in their club 50k for these cards as they've just bombed up in price because there's Chiellini Gelson Martins Benzema that are still out in this game that require those items so GG's if you got on any of those because those are definitely definitely going up in price like crazy right now at the moment but up is just how this whole market is right now. Everything is up. Everything is high. Everything is overpriced uh, or maybe not overpriced is the word. Some things are overpriced, but a lot of things are just inflated. So we'll see if any of that changes today with the loading screen. I wouldn't expect any crazy panic selling with a loading screen or anything like that. It would just kind of tell us what we kind of expect is there is going to be a new promo coming on this Friday. So hopefully that promo is team the group stage. Hopefully we get some confirmation on that today, but that is the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.